Yo, what is up guys? It's Marsbra, back again with another video, and guys, let's jump right in. Alright guys, so I actually ordered this knife quite some time ago, uh, it was actually in early August, maybe just a little bit before my Hypex video that I posted. Um, so shortly before that I had ordered this knife with hammer and guys it barely got to me just recently, now in December. And that was, to be honest with you, that was actually a little faster than I thought. But so that made me pretty hyped and here it is finally in the flesh. So if you guys don't know who Hammer is, he is a custom knife uh, maker and modder. Um, so he also does a modding. So guys, ooh, hoo, hoo, here we go. I have no idea how it's gonna look. Oh wow, what the, I had no idea. I had no idea it came in a sheath. So, uh, caught me off guard. Here we go, first and foremost, we got, I don't know if you guys can read it, Chaos Light, number 18, looking at that CPM 154 hand rub Tonto. Um, we're looking at the Grade 5 tie, Saturn V2, December 2020. Hammer Designs. Woo, sick, sick. Yo, this sheet though, I had no idea. I don't know, I know nothing of this sheet. I don't know if this is, I don't, I don't think it's his. I have no idea, somebody let me know. Oh no, ace case, yeah, ace case guys, ace cases. Phew, here we go, oh my goodness. In a paper towel, it was safe keepings. Uh, uh, I'm a little nervous. Uh. Oh man, yo. Jesus, it's kind of reminding me a little bit of my Chioni, it's the same, Jesus, look at that, I just, oh, that finish though, God, I'm just, I'm a little speechless right now, guys. All right, all right, first open, because I'm just dying to see this blade real quick. Ah, dang, guys, looking mean. Oh my God, look at this thing. This thing's looking like a boss, Jesus. All right, I just want to remind everyone that I always do my sound test at the end of my video, so uh, always stay tuned for that. But anyways, let's jump right into the specs. The handle length, we are looking at a 5.5 inches long, a handle thickness of around 0.5 inches, a blade length of 5.125 inches long, and a blade thickness of, ooh, she's a thick, uh, 0.125, right around there. And with an overall length of 10 inches long. 10 inches, so 10 inches, it's actually a pretty good length. It's uh, what I'm kind of used to. Um, I've been getting a preference for like lighter, shorter bellies or whatever, but uh, totally digging this one so far. I mean, this is a light over the regular chaos. Um, anyways, we are looking at a handle material of a grade five titanium, so pretty sick. He did, uh, I did go ahead and choose the satin finish. You guys, you guys can choose whatever. You can anodize it, you can Cerakote it. I mean, he can do a whole ton of stuff, but I went ahead and chose the satin finish on mine, just cause I like the, I don't know, I just like how it looks with the blade. Tell me that's not sick. So the handle construction is a sandwich construction, really no big deal. Um, the cool thing is that he was making these uh, milled spacers for the uh, Chaos Light, and they're actually a little longer and um, lighter than um, the other spacers he was using. So I was like, yeah dude, throw them on there for sure. Um, I also forgot to uh, mention that he did throw in some nice chaplain, chaplain relief right here on the back of the knife. I don't know if you guys can tell. Um, it's a little more, little more uh, on this one because uh, apparently he had it like this on both sides and apparently it was a little owie wowies for some people apparently. I don't know, I've never used the other one so I don't know. Um, the blade material is a CPM 154 so, so that's some pretty nice metals guys. Um, the blade style is a uh, Tonto with a nice curve. I like it. I'm digging it. 
And uh, the blade grind is hollow. It's a hollow blade grind, which I think is actually pretty sick. I just love looking at it. Ooh! Um, the blade finish is, I went ahead and also chose satin on the blade finish. Just cause again, it just looks so clean. It's just, uh. But he did, I also did request a hand rub. Like I mentioned earlier on the little card that he had given me. Nice little hand rub on the blade, which gives it a nice touch. Uh. I wanted a mirror, fin mirror finish at first, but I was just, uh, I, don't, I don't know how I feel about mirror finishes still. Um, so guys, one thing I did not get was the weight. I definitely need to buy a scale for these custom knives. Um, but I will definitely get that. I'll probably post it down in the description whenever I do get the weight. Or I'll post it on my Instagram. So make sure to follow me also. It's Mars Grant. Um, so this is a latchless Balasong. Not entirely sure if he does latch at all. Because this is custom. I don't think he does. I want to say no. Don't quote me. Um, I am also rocking some bushings on this knife, which is sick. Um, bushing tends to be the preference. It is my preference. And the pin system, we are looking at some hidden Zen pins, which is another pretty sick thing. I love me Zen pins. Hidden Zen pins are a plus. All right, guys, let's check out that uh, tap and play test, huh? So. Oh my God. Oh my God. There's like no tap. Nothing like one of the few knives that I felt like that's that's crazy and then let's do uh, Play is Solid also solid AF Jesus god dang hammer. I see you. I see you So again guys uh, hammer if you guys don't already know who hammer designs is he is a Like an awesome custom knife maker and modder um he made, he made the Chaos originally, uh, now this one is the Chaos Light. Um, it is just a smaller and lighter variation of the Chaos and I just have a preference for lighter bellies. So I went ahead and got this one. Um, it's just so aesthetically pleasing. I just love this, this setup of the Chaos Light. It just looks so clean. I just, honestly, when I saw the knife, someone else had posted it, I just, that's when I slid in his DM. So I was like, all right, I, I want one now. <laughs> so make sure to make sure to slide in his and you guys can get yourself one but on top of these sweet knives that he makes he does amazing amazing mods on other knives abs tabs uh, reps uh, planarians I've seen even um, he's done uh, so many awesome regrinds and just sweet sweet mods on knives so make sure to check his page out uh, I'll leave his uh, name down in the description so guys, that pretty much sums it up for my video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And uh, comment down below if there's uh, any questions you have on the knife or uh, if there's just something I missed. I don't know. Um, I am planning on doing a Balasong collection video on my next video. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know what I'm going to do exactly. But um, make sure to subscribe to stay tuned for that. And uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll catch you guys on my next video. And uh, you guys have a happy new year. Peace.